can magnets relieve chronic pain? More and more people seem to think so, yet there is little hard scientific evidence to prove it, but there is some evidence. Joining us this morning, Dr. Julian Whitaker. He's co-author of a new book. It's called The Pain Relief Breakthrough, in which he claims magnets can help ease the pain of backaches, arthritis, menstrual cramps, and more. And I, I read your book, but I also read a ton of research by lots of other people who mm -hmm. really believe this works. I don't think there's any question that it works. Um, magnets have been around for centuries, but only recently have they truly been adopted by segments of the population with real results. There are 20 professional golfers now that are using magnets that allow them to play. And um, there was one that was going to, he's one of the top money winners. He was going to retire in 1994. He started putting magnets on his body. Wow. And now he's a, he is the top money winner for the last two Chichi years. Chichi Rodriguez, I read, started sleeping on a mattress pad with magnets in it 30 years ago after finding it in Japan. That's right. And swears by it. Yeah, I, I sleep on a mattress pad. I have a magnet thing. But you Look, see, the, the reality is, and what we try to point out in the book, is that, that magnet therapy is, number one, safe. And number, it truly does work. Now, they're going to be saying, well, they're going to be we have cited 80 medical references, scientific references, on the theory of magnets and on how they work, et cetera. Dr. Whitaker, before we talk about the medical uh, evidence, let's mm -hmm. talk about exactly how a magnet works, uh, or how we think it works anyway. You measure magnets by a gauss. A gauss means And right. a refrigerator magnet is four gauss? Uh, no, I think refrigerator magnet is probably around 30 to 50 gauss. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. So I, it's I pretty high. So, okay, so... What and kind of magnets are you talking about, and how this are you magnet, talking about This magnet is 3,900 gals. Okay? okay. This is these these were the uh, this is the company that made these magnets, the one that most of the golfers wear. Tectonic okay? uh, body tectonic. kit is how it comes. Right. So it comes with a couple of magnets and uh, yeah, some and then ace bandage. An, an ace bandage that you take this here. You take this here and put it in your back. Okay. That's a, is that a magnet too? Excuse me. Yeah. This is a magnet. Okay. Take that. Put it in your back. Okay. Uh -huh. You put these along on the on the thing so that on your back you're having this there. I started wearing uh, this about oh, about a year ago. Now I'm 53, and I have for 10 years I've been relatively athletic. Uh, you know, I rode a bike across the country, uh, play squash, tennis. You know, you deserve to have of, to make some. Yeah. Pains. So I've been having some aching back for about 10 years. Right. Okay. But I don't even. Even never even thought of taking a pill for it. It's just ache. I started wearing this, and all of a sudden, the ache was gone so completely. I had to get used to not having that ache. Your book is filled with all sorts of anecdotes like that. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about how this works. Cause we, we, we've got about a minute. Tell me about how we think the magnets work in healing. Well, the primary reason I believe is it alters the electrical impulses along the pain cells. We'll say and. Uh, and to tell you the truth, Lisa, we don't, we don't know. know. Th th I read several different theories. One said maybe it causes the red blood cells. Which oh, it increases healing. blood flow. So the blood it, flow it, goes there's there several and things that healing. It, but one of the things, the things that we do know is this. It does work to help pain. It's not placebo. I, uh, the people who have gotten benefit from the magnets had been taking expensive, dangerous drugs. Why didn't they work? as mm -hmm. a placebo. And we should say that there has been a, a, a test recently oh, yeah. uh, of this and they found that people were you know, treated with, with fake magnets with and fake with real magnets, magnets right. mm -hmm. and the people Recent with real test, magnets right. had, had their pain reduced by about half. Let I me think. show you something on this. Okay. This is a Gauss meter. Okay. And this is a, a, a magnet that spins. Right. You know, that's, that's measuring magnetic force. Right. Now hold that there. Okay. Now watch this. Okay. What does I don't that know mean? how that works. I, I, I don't have know no what idea. that means. Well, watch this. Okay, if I put this on my leg, right. put the things over here, nothing's happening. Right. But if I do this, I'm sending magnetic force all the way across the leg. Now, this is just one of the phenomenons of, of a magnet that when you spin it, Right. However, I, 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 I'm not sure how that works, but we do know that there are lots of products out there. Check with your doctor, but you can't hurt to try is what doctors are saying. And this is, I, I would say, you can check with your doctor, but magnets are so safe that you might even try it before. All right. We thank you very much. My pleasure. For coming, Dr. Whitaker. Magnets. You may have some around the house, probably on the refrigerator. 
but could they soon become a powerful force in your doctor's office? That's a question being asked about so-called healing magnets, products that have become extremely popular for the treatment of pain. Are they a medical breakthrough or modern-day snake oil? Here's Keith Morrison. I just sat up from bed, and when I stood up, I just felt a sharp, sudden pain in my lower right back. There's a young man in a town called Paris, Tennessee. His name is Adam Sprague. When he was 14, something happened to Adam that could help change the way we all deal with pain. What happened? Sudden agony. At first, Adam and his mom thought he'd slept wrong and the pain would go away. It didn't. It got worse. You must have been kind of worried about this. Well, at first not. I just didn't really start getting concerned until the following day when they did the IVP series thing and the urologist felt like it might be appendicitis. So the doctor removed young Adam's appendix. The pain seemed to subside for a day or so. It just started all over again. I was like, oh boy, what's going on now? <laughs> if the doctor was embarrassed about this, nobody told Adam. Instead, they gave him more tests, more x-rays. The surgeon recommended a pediatric urologist. The urologist recommended another pediatric surgeon. He and his team of three decided he was constipated and gave him th six enemas. Adam saw 27 doctors, had six enemas, several x-rays, an appendectomy, and still terrible pain. By now, he was staying home from school, wasn't walking, was barely getting out of bed. His only relief, a shot of narcotic in the emergency room. 17 trips to the emergency, and you still feel terrible. What do you do then? We go to more specialists. Then finally one day, doctor number 27 suggested Adam see a research neurologist at Nashville's Vanderbilt University, a man looking into the power of magnets. Dr. Robert Holcomb became doctor number 28. He felt like Adam would be a candidate for this research project. The Spragues had already gone broke treating Adam. They weren't sure they wanted to throw more money away on something that sounded bizarre to them. But Adam was in pain. Robert Holcomb, we soon yeah. learned, is used to skeptics. Anybody ever look at you and say, oh, come on, this is voodoo, this is black magic? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Happens all the time, I All the time. <laughs> Once Holcomb was able to figure out that Adam's problem was a severe bulging disc in his spine, the doctor was just sure, he says, that his troubled young patient could respond to a new form of magnetic force, a force that Holcomb claims acts to quiet the nerve. When there's pain, nerve endings are more active. They generate more electricity and send strong pain signals to the brain. Holcomb says his studies have shown that his extra strong magnets, when placed on the skin in the right spot, act on that increased electrical activity, shutting down the calcium and sodium channels that the pain signals travel on. More on Adam later. There's Yankees pitcher Hideki Urabu, and Broncos linebacker Bill Romanowski. Many different companies make magnets. This is an alternative medicine fair in California. Where else? They can't make medical claims. Still, this is big business. The magnet industry leader, Nikon, reports sales of $1.8 billion per year worldwide in spite of the fact they make no medical claims. But when we asked one of their salesmen to tell us how they work, he told us this. I honestly don't know how they work, but my feeling is I'm looking for the result, and most people, when they buy something, they're buying it because of the result that they get from it. And he says the result is less pain. 